Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my August favorites and this month actually I don't have that many. It's kind of strange, but I don't have that many August favorites. I think it's because I reused like all of my July favorites and I didn't have any new favorites and I didn't go makeup shopping. So I don't really have that many beauty favorites, um, especially beauty favorites, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling because these videos are quite long. So yeah, give them a thumbs up if you like my uh, favorites videos and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now, as per usual, I start with beauty because it's like a beauty-based channel. It's not only beauty, but it's like a beauty-based channel where I do mostly makeup looks and then I do some random videos here and there. But um, I'm going to start with makeup and I'm going to start with lippies. Now, um, the brand that I've been loving this month is actually Kiss Me by Livegram and they're a subscription service that you get like three liquid lipsticks. I got a fourth one the first month because I used someone else's code and blah, blah, blah. I'll list more information in the description down below. But basically you get three liquid lipsticks or I think you can also get a gloss and stuff like that. And you get different formulas like completely matte, a satin finish, you can get like um, also the shimmering ones, the metallic ones, that's what they are. And um, it's for, you get three liquid lipsticks for less than $20 and they have free shipping within the US and international shipping is for $3.99. And um, I, I paid for two months to just to try it out and see how they were like and I really, really like them. I really like the formula. They do like some really nice nudes and mauves, um, a dark lippies, um, I think I have a satin one. I, it's, I really like these. They're really, really nice and I really like the formula. They're comfortable, they're not drying. And yeah, I've been using these quite a lot actually. I don't really tend to use lippies and liquid lipsticks on a day-to-day -day basis, but when I do, I have been tending to grab these. So yeah, I like these a lot. I'll put all the information about these in the description box down below. Goodbye lipsticks. Goodbye, 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 cruel world. Next, I've got something by NYX. <laughs> No. Um, and this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade 01 Pale and 15 Caramel. And um, I recently did a first impressions on this foundation and I did it quite a bit ago, but I didn't upload it like for, I don't know how long, I, I don't know what happened, but it just went up recently. And I've actually been using it quite a lot this month and I really like this foundation. I'm not going to go into it too much, but if you want an in-depth like first impressions of this foundation, I tested just about everything. Flashback, um, the pores and my skin type and uh, primer no primer, brush versus sponge everything really i don't think you can test anymore maybe just waterproof it i'm gonna try that next time but anyways um i did a first impressions on this foundation and if you care to know more about this foundation if you want to purchase it i'll link the video down below and you can watch it if you want um but yeah i've been loving this foundation a lot um and i'm not really gonna say much the only thing i didn't really like about this foundation is that it comes with less than half of what you normally get as regular foundations but I really like this foundation, so I'm not gonna complain about it. I like formula, that's important. Anyways, moving on. Cat right, baby now. Okay, so. Uh, next I have the Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette, and this is also by NYX, and as you can see, it's an illuminating palette. It's a highlighting kit, and uh, it comes with seven shades, and can you just admire the shade range that they have, and it's drugstore. It's drugstore. I don't know about you, but me, uh, I can never find like actual good highlighters from the drugstore, at least here in Mexico I couldn't find any at all, oh, at all, at all. So when I found this I was just like, I was a bit skeptical at first because I'm like, oh, drugstore highlights, not again, they're gonna be glittery or powdery or they have no color payoff at all. So um, I was a little bit skeptical until I swatched them in the NYX store that we have here in Mexico and I was just like, oh, oh my god. And I really like this shade particularly and I was like I'm going to love the whole palette just because of this and actually I love the whole palette. I, I don't really tend to use this yellow and gold one because it looks a bit dark on my skin tone um, but uh, I really like all of the palette and I think for the price and for seven highlighters and the quality of these you should definitely give it a go. You should definitely give it a go. It has like a nice shade range from the palest to like a medium one and a dark one for deep skin tones Like I could barely use this maybe just a tiny bit as a bronzer But for me, I can't highlight with this obviously, but they also have like nice um, funky shades that you could use and I really like this I think well, about all the skin tones could use this. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried it on all the skin tones, obviously. But I could say, like, you could definitely mix and match and get your custom highlighter shade, which is what I like. And it's drugstore and it's affordable, so why not? Next, I've got the Maybelline's Better Standing. <laughs> what? 
Okay, next I've got the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer in the shade Ivory 10. 10 Ivory. Yeah. And it looks like this right here. And I've used it. This is basically. Okay, that's gone under my bed. Crud. Where is it? Where is it? As I was saying, um, I've been using this concealer this whole month. Like, this is the only thing I've been using. Maybe mixing a little bit of my Tarte Maracuja Cruise Concealer when I have, like, really dark under eye circles. Um, I don't have it on today, or I'll have a tiny bit, but really, doesn't matter. Um, and when I use this for, like, a day-to-day -day basis and everyday quick makeup, the one that I just uploaded for back to school, I believe. I think it's that one. I use this one, and it's really, really nice for just throwing it on your face every single day. It's drugstore easy, um, affordable, and yeah, I really don't have to say much about it. It conceals the right amount, so I like this a lot. And I've been using it without foundation, so it's a really nice kind of blendability. Yeah, it has nice blendability. <laughs> Um, next for brows, um, I have been using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Medium Dark, and I've been using it for a, a couple of videos, I think. I think. I'm not quite sure, but I've been using it a lot off camera. Um, basically almost the only thing I use, and I like using this, um, as I said, like when I just throw on concealer with no foundation or something, it's like a quick makeup. I like using this just to put it on my brows, like I comb my brows upwards with this. And it's, it seems like my eyebrows are already filled in. So they're kind of bushy already, my eyebrows, and I, this just does the job. And it also has fibers, which help it like look even bushier and fuller, which I like. And it's drugstore, so it's really nice for this. Um, but yeah, I, I used this also in my Back to School makeup tutorial that just recently went up. And along with the other concealer that I just mentioned. So yeah, I really recommend those two for like a quick makeup in the morning. That's another tip for you. Next, I have another thing by Maybelline, and this is the Lash Sensational... Full Fine Effect Waterproof Mascara, and I've been really loving this mascara. Now, this is basically the only thing I use. I use it in every single makeup tutorial, and the reason is because um, I'm having to throw away like my old mascaras, and I don't want to get an eye infection or anything, so this is basically the only thing I've been using, but I've been loving it, so I'm happy about it, you know? Um, but I really recommend it to you guys if you have like lashes that point... What was this? But I really recommend this to you if you have lashes that point downward and you want like the curl to stay up all day I definitely recommend this along with my elf eyelash curler Which is this one right here and this was one US dollar when I went and purchased it in the US last year and it's really really good um, I don't know what it is about it, but I really like this curler and the combination makes my eyelashes stay up all day So yeah, if you have short short haired eyelashes no short eyelashes at point but downwards i would definitely recommend this mascara with the eyelash curler so yeah next for a powder brush i've got the face secrets like double ended powder brush and it comes with a really fat fluffy side and there's a bit of powder coming off because i use this today to like powder my face just a little dab 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 <laughs> um, and it also comes with a second side right here, which is great for my under eyes and it does not hurt at all I have some brushes that when you just like tap it under your eyes It's really rough and harsh on them But this one's super super soft and I really like it for setting my under eyes and this one for the rest of my face The only reason I don't like this brush is because it's double-ended I would definitely purchase both of these brushes like separate like a regular brush handle not like double-ended because it's really hard to store without ruining the bristles on either side So yeah, um, that's the only thing I would change about this brush, but it's definitely like nicer to travel with It's a really nice like travel brush because you have two in one But for like your everyday like makeup table like when you're using it here It's harder to store so I always have to lay it flat like on my table or on top of something because I don't want to damage either of the bristles, you know? But yeah, aside from that, I really recommend to you this like brush. It's a drugstore price, it's not too expensive, and I really like the quality of the Face Secrets brushes. I have another one, and I really, really like it. So that is makeup done, and I'm going to move on to something that's like makeup related, but it's not really makeup, which is like things to clean your brushes. And the first thing that I'm going to mention is the Face Secrets Cosmetic Blending Sponge and Brush Cleanser. And it comes in a little tub like this. It comes with 165 milliliters. And you open it and you push this thing right here and all the soap comes out of here. So it's really hygienic, I would like to say. And I really like this because it cleans my sponge really well and really quickly. Normally, when I use my bar of soap, that's what I use to clean my brushes and it does the job pretty well. Um, I clean my sponge and then it starts to get rips really quickly and it starts to deteriorate. So I don't really like using the bar of soap that much. And when I found this, I was like, oh, I'll try it for my sponge. And it does the job really, really well and really quickly. And it's affordable as well. It's by the same brand as the brush I just mentioned. 
and I like this. I also like it for brushes, but um, when my brushes are used with powder only. The cream products, it takes a little bit longer to remove the makeup, but still does it, and a, and a little bit more pump. So I recommend using a mixture of like, I don't know, if you use a bar of soap as well, using a bar of soap and this, it leaves your brushes feeling so, so soft and clean, which is what I like. And also to clean my brushes, I purchased this brush mat. I don't know if you can see like the texture, it has like bumps and stuff like that. And one side's for face and one side's for eyes. And this is something that goes completely unnoticed sometimes. And I tend to forget it as well. When I first started cleaning my brushes, I used my hand and it gets really tiring to be honest. And this just makes your job a lot easier and it doesn't like get you as tired because cleaning your brushes can be tiring, it takes long. So um, this has made my brush cleaning routine really quick. I mean, it's not super, super quick, but it's, it's made it a lot quicker, maybe I should say that. And this is by the brand Kala Kala, I believe, or Urban Studio, was it? Wait, it, it was either by the brand Kala or Urban Studio, which is like the same brand as my brush cleaning pad. But yeah, off topic, um, I really recommend it to you guys. If you don't have one, it makes your life a lot easier. So just try one, even a small little one that you can get like this and see if it works for you. If it doesn't, just don't buy the big one then. But it has worked for me, so that's why I really like this. Next for skincare, I have my moisturizer. This is my day moisturizer, and this is by the brand Ole. I've never tried anything by the brand Ole, and this is Ole Fresh Effects Do Over um, Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. And it comes with 50 milliliters. It's a gel moisturizer, as I just said. And it smells like, um, what was it? White tea and honeysuckle or something like that. And I, it feels really hydrating for the mornings, especially when I'm about to put makeup on. Um, and also it's a good moisturizer before like when you're going to apply makeup at night that doesn't have SPF But normally I just moisturize my face inside and then when I go outside I actually put SPF on Anyways, I've been really liking this. It smells really nice and it's been working out great for my skin It feels hydrated not too oily for the mornings and not too dry. So I like this I have another skincare product and this is a face mask. It's a sheet face mask and I've been loving these to really hydrate my skin. I have tons like of types, but to hydrate my skin or make them, to give it a, like a boost when it, I feel like my skin's like, ugh, it's horrible. Um, I like to give it kind of like a boost with a face mask and I like sitting down watching films, editing, doing something like that and just putting this mask on, waiting until it dries. It says um, leave to 20 to 30 minutes until or until dry. I leave it until it dries and then I use the residue and just like massage my face. No, my massage this onto my face. Um, and yeah, this is a regular coconut um, deeply moisturizing mask and this is the Korean face mask coconut extract face mask. Yeah, it's by Precision Beauty Skincare Solutions and I got this at Sally's. It's just a regular face mask, not, nothing really quite special about it. Just, it feels really nice and it hydrates my skin. It doesn't irritate it and yeah, I like this. Next for hair care, I have a hair styling cream and this is by the brand Sedal by Yuya. It's a collaboration with the YouTuber from here in Mexico. It's like one of the biggest YouTubers of here in Mexico. Um, and I really like the scent of it and like I bought the whole range. I've got the whole line, but this is like the thing I had like a hand um, And I really like this. It has green tea and lime and I really like the smell of it and how it makes my hair feel It makes my hair feel really really soft and normally like these brands don't really work out for my hair They, they still feel dry and this feels quite nice on my hair and I really like this I really like the smell and I really like how um, the shampoo and the conditioner lather onto my hair which is a big good thumbs up for her and I'm really proud of her. I'm really happy for her and I really like her collaboration. For the fashion category, I already went on to hair and uh, for the fashion hat category, I have shoes that I really, really love this month. Month? I said that really weirdly. Okay. I have some booties, new ankle boots that I really, really like and they're perfect for this season coming up, autumn and winter. They're my favorite seasons. <laughs> Be so excited and there are two pairs of black booties let me just show you so the first pair of booties that I purchased are from Bershka and I like them a lot because of the heel they have a small heel I would say and it comes with like a geometric kind of I don't know how to explain this heel but this part is completely smooth and this part is like with like dents it I don't know how to explain this and it comes with this like gunmetal metallic 
heel. They are pretty comfortable, but they're not super, super comfortable because they do um, have a heel after all. And they're a bit like, the heel's a little bit larger than what I'm used to on booty. So um, they're still comfortable though. I can still walk with them and my feet don't ache a lot like after two hours. No, it, um, I can stand them for quite a few hours. And I really like them. They're like um, this kind of suede material and they are quite high. They come in lower at the ankle and I really like these. I bought these at Bershka if I haven't said so. But yeah, um, I like these a lot. They're quite comfy and yes. And yeah, let me show you my other ones. My other ones are some boots, chunky boots from Zara. And they're like super chunky, as you can see right here. They have like a round silver buckle uh, to the side. This thing is stretchy, which is really nice for when you're putting the boots on. I don't have to unbuckle these all the time. I just like my foot inside. And they have this gap right here, which I find it really stylish. And I don't know, it has like some vibe, edgy vibe to it. And they're like really chunky at the bottom. The heels looks quite high, but it has like a platform. So it's not that high and they're super comfortable. I could walk on ages with this and my feet wouldn't hurt a lot at all, I would say, but yeah. And they're in this like leather material. I'm not sure if it's real leather. I don't think so. It might be pleather. I don't know where to look for the material. Honestly, I have no clue, but I like these and um, they're super, super comfortable and they make my life a lot easier when my feet are getting kind of cold, but I still want to have like an edgy vibe to it and don't wear like super thick boots or anything. So I like these a lot. They're super comfortable and warm, even though they have like these gaps and yeah, I really like these. So that was it for my fashion items. Now for the music, TV series, films and books part, I have um, a few. And the first thing I want to mention for music is that I have been obsessed, obsessed with the new album there that Gang of Youths came out with it's on the 18th of August. Now I know that's pretty late in the month, but I had been waiting for this album for a whole year, almost a whole year. I don't know how long it has been. It feels like a whole year. All I know is that I think I added one of their first singles out of this album in February. So it's been almost like a year and I've been waiting for this album for so long. I really love this band. I love like alternative, edgy, uh, indie rock kind of genre. And they fit perfectly into this. It's their new album. And I've been loving this album so much. I listen to them quite often and for some reason, like for like a week, you couldn't hear them on Spotify and I have all of their music on Spotify and I kind of panicked and I went to iTunes and pre-ordered their album. And then on the 20th, I think it was back on Spotify. So I was like, eh, great. Well, now I have it on two platforms. <laughs> but anyways, um, <clears throat> and out of this particular album, I've been loving the whole album. It's just amazing how they opened the, like the album, I would say the, kind of do like a story. I don't know how to explain it, but the first song like introduces the album well and they like move into some songs and some songs link to others and the way that they finish the album with like the messages they're saying, I just, oh, I love them. I love their music. I love this album so much. It's been my favorite out of all of the ones they've released. I have quite a few favorites out of this album and they're definitely, the first one would be, what can I do if the fire goes out? Um, then, what else? I'm going to just, just mention like my favorites favorites and then oh how they transitioned from the song Les Symboliques to Let Me Down Easy is just so satisfying and I loved how they did that. Let Me Down Easy is definitely like my favorite song out of the whole album. Say Yes to Life, I love it a lot. I love like the whole album. I can't just keep up songs but Do Not Let Your Spirit Wane, Achilles Come Down, The Heart Is A Muscle, Our Time Is Short. Like the whole album is just really really nice so Give a listen if you like indie rock, alternative rock kind of things. I really like them. I really like the message. I really like the music. Just amazing. I love them. I love it. Oh, so good. Aside from that album, I also have like a ton of other favorites. I just wanted to mention that album because that album is just so nice and I really liked it. I have this playlist which I update monthly. So each month I add songs to it and I just link it down below for you guys so you can see my favorite songs because this month I think I had, let me just say how many I had. I had 54 favorite songs and I listened to that playlist constantly like on repeat and I really like the songs and I'm not going to list 54 songs in the description box or mention all of them. 
So, um, I link the Spotify playlist that I created if you want to see the music that I'm listening to or if you like my, the same music I do. Um, these are my monthly favorites and I just add it and I link it in the description box if you want to know like what my favorite songs were and I have a ton of things. For example, I have like Oh Children in there, Tash Sultana, Oh Children by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Tash Sultana in there, I have Rihanna, um, Love on the Brain, I also have James Vincent McMurro Cavalier, like this was this month's favorites and I also have like last month's favorites and another in my past video, it's in the description box, so yeah, um, if you care to see um, what my favorites are, you can definitely look in the description box and yeah, just like check out my playlist. But yeah, that is music done. And now for TV series. I don't really have a TV series that I've been loving. I've been watching a lot of TV. Oh yeah, I have one TV series that I've been loving. Oh my gosh, how could I forget this? Game of Thrones season seven was the most intense thing I've ever seen out of all of the seasons they've come out with. It was so intense. I'm not going to give out any spoilers because I'm not that kind of person, but if you haven't watched Game of Thrones and you're into um, kind of, um, I don't know, action, it's a little bit bloody, it has a good plot to it. Um, if you're into like kind of that thing, like kind of like a historic renaissance type of See, I don't know how to explain this without giving anything away. If you're into kind of like a renaissance type of esque series with like a ton of action, it's a little bit bloody, um, a little bit gory, not too much. It's, it is bloody though sometimes though. So yeah, you, got, you gotta watch out for that. And they mix it kind of like with this fantasy world. It's just a really nice story. And I really like the series, the TV series. They also have like the books and everything. I like the books as well. It's just a really nice kind of story. And I really like this. The past season was amazing. It was so good. I really liked it. I'm not giving anything away, but uh, Game of Thrones season seven was just the most intense thing and the most terrifying and exciting thing at the same time. It was just so good. It's not a horror TV series or anything like that. It's a like fantasy thing. So yeah, I really liked that a hundred percent. Aside from that, I have only been watching like um, a few things on the TV, some films and just like if I've watched anything on TV, I think it's like two new TV series or something like that. Like I can't find on Netflix, so I don't know. I watch them sometimes on TV. Um, but for films, uh, why not mention it now? Um, you know, or maybe you don't know, that I'm a complete and utter Potterhead. It might not seem so because it just like I have it close to my heart, but I am a Potterhead and I love watching and rewatching and rewatching these films. I could never get annoyed by this. I just love them so much. I love everything. Just like, oh, so good, so good. I like, I'm an utter potter head. Yes, look at Harry and Hermione. I'm missing Ron and uh, I'm missing Ron, Voldemort, and Dobby. Mom has Dobby, and my sister has like the same ones. But we're such potter heads here at home, and we really enjoy watching the films. And we already read the books. I think I've read them almost two times. I don't know. I'm not sure, but. I just love it it's so much. I wanted to film an actually like a Potterhead type of esque video, so stay tuned for that if you care for that. But yeah, I've been rewatching these a ton, and also Fantastic Beasts. And um, this month, um, here in this same category, um, for books, I read Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I didn't read it before because I couldn't find it here in Mexico in English, and I finally found it. So um, I read it and um, I quite liked it. It's like not super favorite. I definitely love the Harry Potter series. Just like the whole of the seven books were amazing. Oh, I love them so much. But like for this one, I don't know, it was a bit confusing. I have mixed feelings towards this one. I like the story, it's just like, I don't know, the way that was written, I think they could have put a little bit more detail into it, but that's just me, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I really liked reading those things and watching those full films. Um, that's it for this category. Now for my other category, what else do we have? And last but definitely not least, I have like a food favorite or food favorites, I don't know. Um, I've been really loving vanilla decaf cappuccinos. They're the best, so good. I really like them. I had to stop drinking coffee, like actual, like not decaf coffee, like actual coffee for sometimes because it really made me feel sick and I have kind of like an acid reflux stress related problem. So um, I had to stop drinking coffee because of that. And recently um, I've been like slowly drinking decaf coffee and I just love the flavor so much. I love coffee, but 
I haven't been able to drink it for like a year now, like an actual coffee. So I've been drinking decaf for now and I really like the flavor and it's just reminds me of the good times where I had like three cups of coffee per day, four, and I didn't feel bad. Now I can only have like a sip and I start feeling bad, but um, anyways, um, I've been really loving that and just, I think I have to mention this month again, carrot cake has just been my obsession. I love it. And croissants, oh my god, croissants in the morning with like a tea or, or a decaf vanilla cappuccino. Oh, so good, so good. I love croissants so much. That's my weakness. Bread is my weakness. I know bread isn't that healthy, but bread's my weakness. I just can't. Pastries, bread. It's so good. I love it so much. But yeah, that is it. Now, I hope I didn't take too long filming this video. I hope I didn't ramble too long. I'll try, as usual, to, to make it as short as I can possibly. I hope it's not 30 minutes long because then that means it'd be just as long as the other ones. But um, yeah, uh, this is the end of my favorites video. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoy watching my favorites videos. And I really hope you like this video. Actually, I, like, I really do hope you like it. If you do, give a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. I know a lot of you watch my videos without subscribing, so subscribe, please subscribe. Um, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I had to film that without glasses because I don't like how my makeup looks with these glasses. Maybe it looks all right. What do you think? Does it look alright with glasses? They're super dirty in case you can see the grime on it because I just used them next to my makeup thing. They're super dirty. I don't know. This is so satisfying. Crazy mother-